What fed head will gum up the works today? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Lay Update for Wednesday, March the 24th. And oh, an, another day, another wild swinging market. And, you know, we started out this morning, everything was higher. And, and suddenly now the Dow is exploding. It's up about 250. The S&P is ex- not, not exploding. It's up about 15. The Russell is making back part of what it's like. just said about 250. And here's the Nasdaq that was up about 80, now down 60. Another another wild day in the markets because, of course, you've got the Fed heads at work. In the meantime, this update is brought to you by our friends at Tradier Brokerage. Now, we do have other brokerage accounts, but when it comes to our equities and options, we prefer Tradier because, hey, it's $10 a month, so how can I beat that? Uh, you know how much money I save a year by using them? And number two, everything can be automated if you choose. It's up to you. There is no demand. You don't have to. If you like the uh, the option of being automated, you can do so. Uh, but again, that's totally your choice. It's part of your membership. There is no extra fee. There is no extra brokerage charge. So in the meantime, plus they've got great customer service. But as I said, the markets are crazy. Uh, we're long. Okay, again, that has not changed and will not change until the trend changes. It's very simple. Okay. You know, again, I don't, yeah, I don't like to make it that simple, but it's really that simple. And the secret to success is following a plan. Okay. The secret to success is following a model that you know what the win rate is in the meantime. Uh, so we're long and look, I don't know what's going to happen today. I mean, you know, one of these goofs could say something and the markets could tank again like they did yesterday. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, you've got uh, the metal slightly higher, but another weak attempt at a rally. Okay, which means in my book, they're going a lot lower. Okay, now again, they may turn around. Listen, remember, I'm an investor in metals, anyways, long term. But as a trader, I'm short, and I don't, I don't see any reason that I'd want to be a short term buyer here. Um, so they're all slightly higher, but I mean, again, very, very weak attempt, especially with the amount of pressure they've been under. Uh, you know the. Uh, crude oil, you know, after yesterday's beat down again, you're getting a big rally. I mean, it's that's not a shock. You get these big bounce backs after major moves. So we're still short and, of course, doing quite well on it. Uh, the dollar is a little bit higher and we're long, and but the dollar is in nowheresville. Okay. It is waiting uh, to see what's going to happen with the Fed and, you know, if there's going to be some fear here because the money will come flowing into the dollar if there's some fear. Uh, net gas is a little bit higher. We're short. Copper is lower. We're short. Um, bonds and notes are down a little bit. You know, they're still battling the Federal Reserve and they can win. This is the difference. This is not a normal market trying to battle the Fed or fight the Fed. The bond market can beat the Fed and they can force them to do something they don't want to do. And I hope they do because the stimulus packages, everything is a bunch of crap because we have to pay for it. In the meantime, in the grain markets, you've got, you know, uh, the things were long, corn and wheat. I mean, corn and beans higher, and what were short, wheat lower. Now, again, I like them all, but we are short wheat at the moment. And, you know, again, we'll see where we go from here. And in the the protein complex, you've got uh, feeders slightly higher, fat slightly lower, and hogs higher again, pushing back over that dollar mark. And, you know, like I say, you know, we're in the trend. We're long across the board. We don't argue. Okay. You know, and there are value plays here as well. I mean, there are certain things I would always play as value. And these prices, I think you're looking at value plays anyway, either way. Uh, in the softs, everything but sugar is down. Okay. Cotton were short. OJ were now short. Coffee were short. Sugar were, were short. And, uh, and, and, and cocoa were short. Okay. So we're short them all. And we'll see. Like I said, I don't want to get, you know, I don't make, Big long-term statements down the road. We'll see. Right now, the trends are lower, and we're short. It's pretty simple. I, again, I don't. I don't like to make it complicated. I'm a simple guy. So let's remember and follow the market, follow the price action, and keep yourself in the game and manage your capital. Don't get oversized. Don't get over leveraged. In the meantime, don't forget about our partners at Family Farms. 
what great partners. And it's exciting because the markets look like we're starting to open up and then we're going to be able to get out and, and go on some trips. Of course, obviously, it's a bad time of year for our friends, the farmers, because they're busy. But, you know, we'll get out there and and, and, and meet and, and go to some of the events uh, and, and start to discuss our, you know, we, because we have the same objectives just to help farmers provide better and, and take care of their and protect themselves better. Uh, and of course, our other brokerage partner, CTG Group, you know, what a phenomenal partner they are. Wonderful customer service. Uh, you know, they do, they help you get set up. They do it all. They're the only authorized letter of direction vendor of our product. Now, I have other brokerage accounts, but and for four, you know, my they trade my accounts through letter of direction myself. And they've got some great managed futures products. You want to check them out? Just look them up, CTG, they're in Chicago, or you can email me and I'll send you their information. Uh, and of course, our commodity report written by Andy Hecht and, you know, the commodity, the quarters are getting ready to come out. And you want to read something, you want to be fascinated by the commodity markets. You got to read what Andy writes. Uh, he writes for bar chart and, and as well as, uh, uh, what the hell is the name of that place he writes for? <laughs> Seeking Alpha. Yeah. So, I mean, he's been, you know, one of the top writers for both sites now. And I mean, he's got great information. He's a professional from the market. So he understands them. And of course, don't forget about our high school program at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, we'll see you back here tomorrow with another Bubba's Daily Update. In the meantime, have a great trade, everybody. Be careful. Again, the Fed speaking every day this week. So there's going to always be the chance for a wild move. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.